Hello, I'm going to do a walkthrough of my new central vac that I just finished installing. I got the OVO 700. Um, I got quotes to have central vac installed in my house. Uh, and there were 2700 to 3300 depending on which um, accessory kit I got, whether it was the, the powered accessory kit or the turbo kit. Um, and then I did some looking online, and I'm, I'm fairly handy, so I decided to just go ahead and do it myself. I spent about uh, $750, $800, and I got it done in a couple evenings working after work. But this is the main power unit, the OVO 700. It's really oversized for this house. This house is just under 2,000 square feet. But um, the price was good on this, and I, I wanted really good suction. Uh, we have three cats and a dog, and we go through regular push vacuums like one a year. Uh, we have for several years. We're just always vacuuming up so much hair. So I wanted something that was really powerful that would get hair out of crevices, out of radiators, and things like that. So I went with the OVO 700. Um, I put it in my utility room here. It's near my furnace. Uh, it's kind of a utility room slash laundry room. Um, you know, I know some people put them in their garages, uh, but um, I put it in here just because I figured, you know, if I have to do anything with it and, um, you know, it's it's in the winter or maybe in the summer and it's hot and humid, this is conditioned space, so um, easier to empty the bag in here and stuff. And and where I wanted to, to put the outlets, it was easier to get to from here. So I put in five outlets, which is... You know, if you know anything about central vacs, it's a pretty small system. Um, one right here in this room, in the utility room, because my cats, um, this is where we keep the litter box and food, and it gets kind of messy in here. So I've got an outlet there where I can kind of vacuum and clean up. Um, it comes up here, up into a sweep tee. I'll talk about these these fittings and, and, and everything in a little bit. I bought a kit on... On Amazon an install kit um, separately from the from the power unit um, but I'll tell you what I, I like and don't like about that in a minute um, but here's the exhaust coming out this side up through um, muffler the muffler doesn't really do much for the sound it's not a loud unit anyway but it, it, it just doesn't do a whole lot for the sound I go up over here and right now it stops here and you can see I've got another bracket here I'm gonna go right out through there but I need the piece, the uh, the exhaust valve for the outside or the kind of flapper, and I don't have that yet. So once I get that, um, I'll drill a hole there, mount that, and um, then the exhaust will go to the outside. Okay, um, my video was interrupted by a phone call, so um, I'm going to have to kind of splice this together later on my computer. Um, speaking about splicing and editing the video, I am not a professional videographer. I'm just a guy who installed a central vac in his house, and I'm just making a quick video for anybody who's who's thinking of doing the same thing and wondering if they can do it and, you know, what was involved. Um, I've posted videos in the past where people tell me I'm a terrible videographer and it's not professional quality, and, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to share information. Anyway, let me continue on. So... The vacuum line goes up and across the ceiling here in um, my utility room and right up here goes up through a flex hose into the bottom of a cabinet in the kitchen uh, where I have a vac pan. Uh, it continues on down here, down, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's another sweep tee there and it goes up and over to the garage and then it comes down here through these shelves down to uh, through the wall there so that's where the one outlet is down in the uh, this is kind of a family room area um, and there's an office and a bathroom that way uh, so one 30 foot hose one outlet and a 30 foot hose covers this whole area um, I got two hose kits. I got one I got um, came with I bought with this turbo head. It's the 
you know, it's the non-powered unit. It's just powered by the vacuum, and it works great. I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't um, do a good job or there wouldn't be enough suction to operate the turbo, but this thing sounds like a jet engine taking off. So this came with a 30-foot hose, and it came with a few attachments for doing hardwood floors and pet hair and a crevice tool and that kind of stuff. And the 30-foot hose is, is here. Um, it's got the hose sock. It's got the handle with the, the switch, the remote switch, so to turn it on and off. Um, and came with that bracket. And, um, so that works great. Uh, here is, this is what's left over after I bought a, a kit on Amazon, an install kit. Um, came with several different fittings, elbows, tees, sweep tees, uh, unions, uh, can of cement, wire, and it came with, I believe it was 100 feet or 200 feet, uh, no, I'm sorry, 100 feet or 110 feet of um, the vacuum tube. It's not, you know, it looks like Schedule 40, but this is not Schedule 40. Uh, I believe they call it Schedule 20, although it doesn't say it on here, but I, I believe that's what this is called. And, you know, if you know anything about plumbing pipe, you can see that this is a very thin-walled tube. Um, so it's not the same as as uh, Schedule 40, the plumbing pipe. In fact, um, here's a section of it, and this is a, a spare piece of uh, Schedule 40 up there, and you can see the difference. But anyway, just thought I'd point that out. Um, so that's one hose kit I got there, and that's the one for inside the house. And then I got a, a cheaper garage kit. Um, just so we could vacuum out the cars and stuff. And I've got a uh, shop vac in the garage now, and I'm going to be taking that off the wall and mounting this in there. Um, I just used it now in my truck and works great. Um, so head out into the garage. And this is where I come over from that utility room. So right up there, there's a 90. Comes in here. Um, I did go through two of these joists. Um, you know, I know like carpenters and, you know, some people will tell you, oh, you shouldn't do that. You know, you're, you're compromising the strength of it. And I agree with that. And that's true. Uh, but right on the other side of this, there's two joists there. Like, I don't know what it is. Not even, it's hard to see because it's dark. But right up in there, there's two of them uh, side by side. So I wasn't too worried about cutting through that one and I did this one too but there's not too much um, of a load up above this this is like right over by the upstairs hallway wall so the middle of the hallway would be about here but at any rate I wanted to get a um, an outlet up into that hallway so I came through another sweep tee here up and into the hallway wall there um, and then I come down because obviously I didn't want to go through all these joists all the way down. Um, and and I had to I had to cut out that piece of sheetrock. That's about the only disruptive thing I had to do to install this whole thing. Um, so I'll be closing that back up. Uh, putting some insulation back in there. There was some insulation there. Um, but then it comes down this upper corner. All the way down. All the way on the other side of the garage door there that you can't see down here into the corner of the garage and right there is the outlet and you know we parked the cars right out here um that's the shop vac we used to use for the cars it's it's kind of old it doesn't have that good a suction so that'll come off the wall and my uh my hose will get hung there so so that's the the downstairs level, three outlets down here, and then we go upstairs. And there's the box that the uh, one of the uh, kits came in. But here's the the uh, other outlet up here, and that services three bedrooms there at the end of the hallway, and it also reaches all the way out here into this living room. And um, they can reach this uh, dining room. And then in the kitchen, I put in a vac pan. Uh, 
so that works great. Um, you know, we're even though we keep the cats and stuff downstairs, they have a litter box and their food. The dog gets fed up here, so he makes a little bit of a mess sometimes, and and that gets swept up and along with any other debris and right into that vac pan. It works great. So that's my central vac system. Um, it works great. I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, the only thing um, that might be a negative uh, about it is this kit that I bought. Um, it came with uh, what they call sweet teas. And um, I'll show you one of those right here. So here's this sweet tea. Now, I was well aware that you shouldn't use a, a 90 degree tea, you know, a, a tea like this and the pipe comes straight in. Um, because I've always heard that, you know, uh, bits of debris can kind of go the wrong way in the tube. And, and you know, maybe you, you if you don't use a branch very often, like let's say this branch, you know, debris coming down here could end up in this tube and then form a clog uh, over time. Um, so when I looked at this kit, I saw it had sweep teas. So I said, oh, that'll be fine because it's going to keep everything going in that direction. Anything coming down here won't make it back up and into there. Well, um, there is a bit of an opening here where things can make it by. And I did notice that down here, let's see if we can see. Um, well, it's hard to see, but there is a, a little bit of debris in there. There's not much. I think you can see a few pieces right there. Um, so I'm surprised that, you know, a little bit does make it around that corner and, and down in there. So if this was a, a Y rather than a sweep tee, that comes up off at a 45 degree angle and then you would come over and down. Um, and I don't think debris would get up and over. But in this house, I don't think that's going to be a problem because all the branches will probably be equally used. So there won't be, you know, one branch that doesn't get used that often or one outlet that doesn't get used that often and, and have a clogging problem. And truthfully, I think this is the only place that it, that could happen um, because of the way the other sweep tees are oriented. Um, but um, so that's my uh, that's my install. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to, to answer them. Um, yeah. Oh, and uh, one final mention. I bought this from the power unit. I bought from evacuumstore.com. Um, the whole, the uh, install kit with the tube, the wire, the outlets, um, all from Amazon. And uh, the garage hose kit from Amazon and the the regular kit for, for inside the house. That came from the evacuumstore.com too. All right. So this is where I'm coming over from the utility room with my central vac line. Um, I've already cut uh, this drywall here with my oscillating tool. I'm about to pull it down now, but that's going to get me access to the wall in the upstairs hallway where I want to put one of the outlets. Also, um, I'm going to run right down this upper corner of the garage down to the far end and put another outlet down there so we can vacuum out cars and things like that. So uh, this this is really, believe it or not, the most least disruptive way of getting a line over here. Um, I had access to an inside wall in my utility room to go up into the attic and come over and down into that hallway wall. But um, I would have had to come across an area where I have things stored in the attic, where I have plywood down. I would have to pull up all that plywood. Um, and that would still only get me down into this wall that's 
up above here and not get me down here. Uh, so I'm going to come across from over there, up in the ceiling, across finished living space, um, and try and poke out here and, and get up into the wall here for an outlet and back down that way. So uh, it should work out okay. Okay, here I am a few hours later. I've got everything all plumbed in, the new vacuum lines. So um, came in from over here. That goes over into the utility room over there. Comes over to a uh, sweet tea up here, up into the upstairs hallway. Um, and believe it or not, no pilot holes, only measuring and... I drilled out that hole and I was dead on center. So that worked out great. Um, everything's wired up. Uh, temporarily, the wires are hanging right now. Just wanted to test everything. Everything's working. I've got this capped off with a fern coat because um, probably tomorrow I'll finish the run down here. And it's going to go down, down by the garage door over there so we can vacuum the cars. But I just put that fern coat on there just so I could test it out. So worked out pretty well. Um, going to get some new insulation to put up here. Looks like I had a few mice in there chewing it up, so I just threw it out. And uh, I'll throw a new piece of sheetrock on there. Uh, I tried to save the old piece. I tried to pull it out in one piece, but it broke right in the middle, so I just tossed it. Um, all in all, worked out pretty well. This shipment just arrived from UPS. Should be the uh, the parts for the central vac install. Uh, the box is a little bit beat up. Some of the tape is broken and I can see loose parts in there floating around. So I'm hoping nothing fell out during shipment, but we'll find out right now. remember all the quantities of parts off the top of my head but I think I remember most of it but I can always go and check the order so this is obviously the wire um, I should have three now four of these four of these one two three have another one of those in there because I believe I'm supposed to have four. Um, should have four of these in two. I think one, two, three. I, think I could be mistaken. Maybe I'm only supposed to have three of those. Let's see. Uh, these guys, the sweet teas, I believe I should have four. Two, three, here's number four. So I've got one, two, <clears throat> three, four. some room because I think I'm going to need it for all the parts. So there's four of those. Uh, okay, one can of cement. Yep, knew that would be in there. This is, uh, I guess, the instruction manual. I'll just put that up there. Oh, here's another one of these guys. Okay, so that's four. Four of those. 
those. And then there's the fourth one of these. Okay. And I should have a bunch of sweet 90s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I don't remember how many of these off the top of my head, but I just right here. All right, let's see these couplings. I got a bunch of these. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Um, eight, nine, ten. Forty-fives. Okay. A couple more sweet nineties. Oh, the short nineties. I think there was maybe three of those short nineties. One more short 90, that's right. Okay. Another one of those guys. Okay. That's a 90. This is a 45. Um, those are all the couplings. What else do I got in here? These hanger brackets. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't remember how many of those I'm supposed to have, but I'll, I'll check anyway. So I get eight 45s, four short 90s, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 sweet 90s. That sounds about right. For the T's, for the, um, the outlets or the ports, uh, wire. Instructions, a bundle of cable ties, and a bunch of tube. I don't remember how many tubes I'm gonna. I'm supposed to have. Um, don't really want to take it out of the box. So let's see if I can count it in the box. I've got on that bottom row. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So, um, these are five feet long, so I, I, that would give me a hundred feet. Um, I just don't remember how many I'm supposed to have because I kind of went back and forth between two kits. I think I went back and forth between the 80 foot kit and maybe the 100 foot kit, but I don't remember exactly. I ended up ordering the one with more because um, I think it was only 20 bucks more 
and I was going to get another one of these and another T and you know and then another one of these and it almost added up to 20 bucks so I figured I'll get the bigger kit have I know I'm going to have some extra pieces and have lots of extra tube I think um, but um, just don't want to come up short and have to buy extra parts so uh, I'm going to go check this against the order right now but it looks like I have everything, unless there's something I just don't remember. Okay.